When the Rust crossover event launched on PC last month, Techland promised us that it would make it onto consoles around mid-May. Well, it's now the last weekend of May and I was beginning to lose hope that it was ever going to happen until I saw this comment on a recent video of mine. Davy Boyd had noticed that one of the rice outposts had appeared in the slums since the recent update. That's a really great spot, mate. Uh, so this must mean that it really is coming soon and I had to go and check it out. I actually watched some streams on PC when they had the event as I was interested to see where the slums and the Old Town locations would be. Uh, so once I knew, I went straight to them to get some footage of the areas before they arrived. The first one in the slums was near the first communication tower from the Pact with Rice mission at the beginning of the story. And as you can see, the surrounding land is just open ground with tall grass and trees. I climbed up to the zip wire platform on the tower for an aerial view and the spot where it will be is really empty apart from this cluster of trees here. But look at the same spot now. The trees have been replaced by a new bandit outpost and uh, yeah, handily this zip wire could be a perfect ambush point for when the bandits are actually there. So let's have a look around. It doesn't look like much from the back of the building but it is a bit more interesting around the front. It also looks like they've used a gas station shop as a base for the outpost and they've just covered it in wooden pallets, razor wire and some fencing to make it look more fortified. The door is blocked but only by that thin painted wood that you can smash with a good kick and once inside there's a number of loot crates and an airdrop and uh, this one at the back of the building has a medium lock and it had some decent throwing axes inside and you can see that this place will become a safe zone after the event as there is a sleeping bag in the corner. You can also jump onto the roof and you can see that a trap door there will probably be the access point once it's a safe zone. And there's some lockpicks in the yellow toolboxes and I found a dark sickle in this lockbox as well, so that's, that's pretty damn decent. This place is actually only a stone's throw from an existing safe zone, so I popped over there and skipped tonight and then back again just to see if this loot would respawn, you know, because it might have become a, a nice little farming spot. And although the front door was blocked again, uh, sadly once you're inside it seems that all of the crates, even though they've closed themselves again, are still empty. So unfortunately this is not going to become our new farming spot. What can you do? Okay, next I wanted to see if the Old Town outpost had turned up too, and according to the streams on PC, this area by the quarantine wall is where it should be, and it's even more open here than the slums location, so I can't imagine uh, an outpost being here. But as you can see, since the recent update, sure enough, there is the new outpost. It looks totally out of place here, as there never would have been a shop down there in reality, and as you can see, it is identical to the slums outpost. Even the position of all the loot boxes and the airdrop case is the same, so we don't really need to go over all of this again. Now, I'm not sure if Techland intended for these to appear in the game before the event even started. It must be a bug or something, but it's cool that we can not only have a look at them now, but also loot them for goodies before they're even guarded by bandits. And this has to mean that the Rust crossover event and the free DLC must have already been installed with the recent update. And we just simply have to wait for them to go live now. My money is on Monday night after the Hyper Mode event closes. I could be wrong about that. Uh, but, uh, you know, the fact that it's coming now makes me happy. And I'm especially looking forward to the new weapons bundle. Well, that's it for now. And if you enjoyed the video, then please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.